Hello boys and girls, Matt from The Real Toy Shop. What have we today? Well, an absolute beauty. Come with me, let's take a look. Before we get going, just take a moment just to ask you if you could like and subscribe, just to help the channel a little bit. That's it, that's the begging over. Right, what have we got? Well, for those of you who don't know, it's a Triumph Daytona T595. Only a short period bike. Um, engine was developed in conjunction with Lotus to develop the triple for not only this Triumph but other Triumph triples of this time under new management at Triumph and called the Daytona T595. Introduced in 97, this is a 98 bike and they stopped doing them in 99 because it's called a T595 but it's a 955 injected bike. So being a 955 injected bike with T595 written on the back, people were wondering why they were getting blown away by a 600. Well, it's not. So in 99, they started calling it a 955i. So have a look around the bike. You see it's got new tires. It's got a quill pipe on it, which in a minute will make some noise and uh, just spit a few flames. Um, we've got the original pipe as well for that. New tyres, as you can see, knocked on a mile. Little uh, carbon hugger, chain of sprockets and stuff, all looking good down there. Wheels are nicely polished. The bike went through a bit of a restoration refresh, let's call it that, um, a couple of years back, and it just looks stunning in every way, really, really does. It's got the original PDI sheet with it and a few other bills and some 159 point check, sort of malarkey stuff. Um, so it's a bike, they're now becoming a collector's, there's an Optimate there, now becoming a bit of a collector's thing. It's the one that they're saying, you know, get onto one of these, hold on to it if you get a good one because Triumphs 4A in sports bikes, they don't really make them anymore. You know, it's uh, one for the future. Carbon inserts there, You've got carbon hugger down there as well, and chain guard. But I hope you're seeing what I see. It's around you, crash bums, that this thing is just absolutely stunning. You could stand this in your front room and everyone will talk about it. There you go, new front tyre as well. Working round, it'll be sold with a fresh MOT, so you haven't got that to worry about either. Just proper. I think I saw a mark on there. Look, a little bit, a little bit of glue on there. So something for you to hunt around on eBay to make it even more perfect would be that mirror. And somewhere, but you see, there's the lightest of just rub marks. It'll probably tea cut away. To be fair, I don't. Even, the camera certainly won't show it anyway. Zeus fastenings all over as well. Look at the pipes. Look at the pipes on it. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And that triple noise, you know, you've got to go a long way to get a bike that sounds like Triumph Stripple. It's triple. Ha! <laughs> triple. So, what can we do for you on the bike? Well, first off, if you've got a part exchange, please visit the website, realtoyshop.com, which is this here. And that's our number. Visit there, fill in the part exchange form. That way we can uh, see what you've got, basically, and start the process from there. Can't do it cold, you know, just ring us up. It's just about impossible. So if you could do that, that'd be brilliant. Number two, if you want to do some monthly payments for it, shouldn't be a problem. Give us a call. Lisa or Scott will deal with you in the office uh, on that number. And we'll get you some monthly payments. And then if those payments are agreeable, we'll put you through with the finance company. Dead simple. Make it stress-free. Because that's how buying bikes should be, isn't it? This is your view of the cockpit from when you sat. That looks good. So before we get to making a noise, what's the other thing we all know? Watch the videos, ask the missus first. Yep, your mother, your brother, your dad, your lover. If you've got to ask somebody to have this bike and you haven't got a pair of your own, then do that before you give us a call. Then we can have a good long chat and we know there's a decision to be made at the end. A, you hate us. A, you hate, B, you hate the bike. Or C, you just don't want it. 
but asking your missus first, it sounds terrible, honestly. Right, so that's that. Next thing, we need to make it go, don't we? So that's the mileage for those guesses, 19,792. We have warmed it up a little bit. I am going to need the uh, clutch here, so excuse me. And away she goes. Hope she'll spit some flames for you, because she did for me earlier. So, that's your bike. That's your T595 Daytona. Ready for you here at the Real Toy Shop. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and how's the order of plays? Number one, well, if you need a Pardex, get on the uh, website and do your Pardex form. Number two, if you need some monthly payments, speak to Lisa or Scott in the office and they'll get those sorted out for you. Number three, get us get it paid for, get it in a van, get it to you as quick as we can. Can't say fairer, can we? And one more little ask for a like and subscribe if you've liked. That way you get to see more stuff when it uh, pops up as well. And that's it. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, ask your missus first.